So now let's do the pH of 0 0.100 molar uh, sodium acetate. And let's talk about how to think about this. So we've got, um, so when I look at this, I think sodium acetate, that's going to be an ionic compound. And because it has sodium in it, according to our solubility rules from Gen Chem 1, it will dissolve completely. It is a strong electrolyte. And what that means is that sodium acetate will break up 100% into sodium ions and acetate ions. And that means it's going to be 0 0.100 molar sodium ions and 0 0.100 molar acetate ions. And um, it turns out that sodium ions are inert. And we can think of them as an inert base. Oh, no, that should be inert acid. And we'll talk more about that. But now we have acetate. And we know that acetate uh, is related, is a weak base. Its conjugate will be acetic acid. So uh, again, thinking through our thought process here, this is a weak base or just a base. Its conjugate is uh, acetic acid. And we know that we have the Ka value for acetic acid and it's 1.8 from our list times 10 to the minus fifth. So from there, we can figure out what its Kb value is. So Kb is going to be Kw over Ka for its conjugate base, sorry, conjugate acid. Kw, which we have to remember, or it's on the sheet, I can't remember still, uh, over 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth. And we get, we calculated this before, 5.5, 5, 5. 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10. That is a weak base. And we know that weak acids have conjugate weak bases. And we will practice this a lot to make sure that we still, that we do know. Whew. Short problem, um, long thought process answer, because now we're finally ready to do our ice table. We have our KB value. Um, and again, we're totally ignoring the sodium. The sodium is inert. The sodium won't help us. It's there. And what we'd call it in Gen Chem 1 is a spectator ion. All right. So now we have CH3, CO minus. We have its KB value. So we're going to write a KB reaction. KA, KB reactions, they always add water. They always transfer a proton. Since this is a KB, the base gets a proton, an H plus. And I wouldn't care necessarily how you wrote this, but it is much prettier as CH3COOH. In fact, right above your CH3COOH, please write a little smiley face. And because this is a base, it's making hydroxides, right? Bases, that's what they do. We could do the conjugate pair thing, but we won't have to. We know there are Kb value, which I always like to write at the end when I have space. I'm out of space today, uh, but it goes there. This is going to be a molarity ice table where we have 0 0.10 molar uh, acetate. We don't care about the water. We have zero acetic acid when we start. And do I have an eraser? Let's see it. Oh, I don't know. If, I don't think I can erase. So uh, that's just a little dot next to the O. It shouldn't be there because 
I should have an approximately zero for that one. Subtract x, add x, add x, and um, yes, now we know that kb equals 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10. That's going to be equal to x squared, which is the concentrations of our two products, over the concentration of our reactant, only one in this case. Wow, is that KB value small, which means we can do the small x approximation, our favorite approximation. And x squared equals 5.6 times 10 to the minus 11, when we multiply that out. X will then be, so uh, square root 5.6 exponents minus 11. Uh, and I'm gonna move my calculator into scientific notation. 7.5 times 10 to the minus sixth is X. And that is our concentration of hydroxide. This is a base. So in order to find your uh, pH, you have to find pOH first using our concentration of hydroxide. So let's see if I can do this now. Log of my answer. Take away the minus sign, I get 5.13 pH is, and so remember, pOH is minus log of the concentration of hydroxide. pH is 14 minus pOH. And I get 8.87. Lo and behold, this is not, this is a weak base. It's a pretty weak, weak base because there's a whole range of weaknesses here. And, but yes, uh, so if you, took the pH of a sodium acetate solution, you will find that the pH is basic.